so much individual being in them that one can never think there are many millions made like them. It is difficult to begin a story when one is far away from the beginning, when there was a little house, a lot of children, not a lot of money, and a lot of neighbors. Perhaps everything will come to be showing something and that will be the happy ending of all this beginning. When the beginning of a story is far away, it can be easy to sound romantic or bitter about the poor queer people living in little houses. I just want to talk about people and their houses and what held the whole of them together, what held together the whole of these individuals acting as a whole, acting upon individuals together. Enough queerness to hold together the whole of them. Outside the row house, not an air light, but a shotgun or a railroad were the neighbors. And some of the neighbors were new, and some of the neighbors were old, but most of the neighbors, by the time I came to the house, were new, or so they told me. My siblings told me that before I came to the house, old neighbors moved out, and new neighbors moved in, and all of this happened very quickly, the moving vans like magic, so quickly they called it flying. New neighbors moved in, and old neighbors flew out. Old neighbors flew out to houses next to houses with people who looked like them. But we didn't fly away the way other white people who looked like us did. And this might have been because of money. I say might because these changes were not discussed or explained. But there were many children and not a lot of money, so this reason seems reasonable to many. Or maybe we didn't fly away the way other white people who looked like us did because of a feeling. I say maybe because these feelings were not discussed or explained. But there was an exchange, a sibling told me. Much later, a sibling told me our mother had asked them a question, a question not meant to be answered, a question about a feeling. The question was, how would you feel if you moved into a new house and all of your new neighbors moved away? Or maybe we didn't fly away because of the church. I say maybe because these details were not discussed or explained, but much later I heard about a meeting. A meeting at the church where my mother and father were married and baptized their babies. A meeting at the church where the men of the church, the priests, told the neighbors not to sell their houses. Told the white neighbors not to sell their houses to black people. That to do so would, the, would be the beginning of an end. I need to go back before the beginning. Beginning a new thing without leaving the last thing. Always compelling to understand the reason. All the doing and the moving. Moving through a country is never done very quickly. Not like moving vans, like magic, this place of seeking and pushing and fleeing and living, pushing and living and seeking and fleeing. Projects like this take time. Much earlier than any of this, Franklin had a project. He wrote, let all things have their places. He ruled each page with red ink to keep track of his rights and his wrongs. And as I think of him, I think of surveyors and their maps, the maps drawn long after Franklin the maps drawn before any meetings or moving vans like magic. The maps relating traits of individuals to whole groups of individuals. The maps ruled with red lines and shades to great areas by color. One map contained a house on a street named for no one. This street was shaded yellow to signify transition, a shade meaning an area at risk of infiltration, of infiltration by what the makers of the map called a lower grade population from time to time. 20 years after this map was drawn, my father bought a house on a street shaded yellow. He bought his house from a woman who looked like him on a street full of people who looked like him, surrounded by streets full of people who looked like him, and then there was a meeting from time to time. It was around this time that there was a meeting at the church, the church where my mother and father were married, the church where they baptized their babies, the church where there was a meeting that my parents may or may not have gone to, where the priests told the neighbors not to sell their houses from time to time. A little later than this, people who looked like my father started buying houses in areas far away from the lines and the shades that graded areas by color. It was around this time that there was a burning, a burning at my uncle's house after he sold his house to someone who didn't look like him. Someone who looked like my uncle burned a cross on his lawn. And his baby remembers. My uncle's baby remembers. She tells me so 40 years later. She tells me about ash on the lawn in the morning. It was around the time of the burning that all of my father's brothers and all of my mother's sisters drove all of their children next to houses of people who looked like them. Old neighbors moved out and new neighbors moved in. And all of this happened very quickly, they said, 
But moving through a country is never done very quickly. What happens quickly is a story short of details. A story short of details I am telling. I am telling you that it is likely that if my father had more money, or less children, or a car, or a different religion, or a desire to change, or a desire to not change, or a greater or lesser desire to keep everything exactly the same, we would have flown away the way others who look like us did. But these things were not discussed or explained, and we didn't, and I am explaining that from time to time on pieces of paper such thoughts, I sit down to write them for you.